Today I'm turning my wife into my mummy! Oof, that sounded weird. We've got a Pharaoh Spa, Mummified Apples, Questionable Beatboxing, and more of Tootin Bark Mutt. If this isn't the weirdest history video you've ever seen, I don't know what is. Like and subscribe, baby. A cool young pharaohs, I bring terrible news. Your father, the pharaoh, is dead. That means we must give your father a proper burial service. So I have asked for the advice of one of my top advisors, high priests and professional embalmers to show us the process of mummification. And here they what? Who are you? This is I, the embalmer, priest, you, but, person. But you're, thing. you're a woman. I am, I. Right. Right, let's go. Women can't be high priests well, in ancient Egypt. Here I am. Okay. Let's see. Mummification! Welcome back everyone. In this project based learning series, we've been learning how to be a pharaoh. This week, mummification. Alright young pharaohs, it's time to begin the mummification process. I've got all of my tools laid out here for you. The very first step of the process of mummification is cleaning the body. Because nobody wants a stanky butt. To do that, we use the most sacred water in the world, and that is of course the water from the River Nile. And a car cleaning sponge. Oh. <laughs> want some more water on your face? Oh, <laughs> But it wasn't just water that the ancient Egyptians used to clean the body, they also used something called palm wine. Palm wine contained alcohol that killed all of the germs. I'm sure Madge will love us using some distilled malt vinegar. So vinegar kills bacteria, that's why we're using that, but the ancient Egyptians would have used palm wine. It probably wouldn't have been in a supermarket plastic bottle. All right, now that Madge is clean and smelling like a bag of chips, it's time to do the next step, which is removal of the organs. First point of action, the brain. But the embalmers didn't slice open the skull like they did the rest of the body. Instead, they went in through the nose. Using a thin metal tool, they cracked the fragile bone at the top of the nasal cavity. But I don't have one, so I'm just going to use this carrot here. Bruh. Just get both sides ah. of it. <laughs> they then slid in a hook to scramble the brain. Kind of like you scramble eggs for breakfast. So we got to scramble the brains inside the head. Then they drained it out, bit by bit, through the nose. Uh-huh. Yes, I think I see the brain. Here we go! Huh. And there it is, the entire brain actually completely intact. It's a little bit smaller than I was expecting. What? <laughs> Once the brain was gone, they made a small cut on the left side of the body to remove the stomach, intestines, lungs and liver. These were then stored in something called canopic jars, each protected by a son of Horus. A human for the liver, a baboon for the lungs, a jackal for the stomach and a falcon for the intestines. Okay, so we'll just make a small incision here. Do, 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 do. Ah. Are you serious? It's a carrot! <laughs> You're, the pressure You're supposed to be dead though. I'm gonna make this more pleasant for you. I'm hungry. There you go. How's that for you? Well, actually is good. La, za, za, za. Mm -hmm. You're like a little spa now. We're gonna take out one of the organs. I think I've got the liver right here. Oh. Wait, why am I doing a... Heartbeat. A heartbeat for a liver. Nope. <laughs> and now that we've got that pesky liver, we're gonna pop it into our canopic jar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, but, yeah, there we go. <laughs> the heart stayed right where it was. The Egyptians believed the heart was the seat of the soul and would be needed in the afterlife. Now that we've removed all of the organs and put them into the canopic jars, the next step of the process is one of the most important ones, and that is drying the body. <laughs> Hair dryer. Part of death, you understand. Oh. <laughs> for the drying process, the body was covered in natron. This was a natural salt, and it was left here for about 40 days. The salt absorbed all of the water and moisture away from the body, leaving it dry and shriveled, kind of like a grape turning into a raisin, but you know, with a whole human body. So let's put on a little bit of salt. Nice. Do, 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 do. Okay, now you really smell like a, a bag of chips right now. Salt and vinegar. <laughs> mm. 
After the body was fully dehydrated, that means all of moisture and water was removed, leaving it as dry as your granny's flip-flop. It had to be stuffed like a teddy bear to make it look less like a deflated balloon and more like a respectable human being ready for the afterlife. Bombers stuffed the body full of things like natron, sawdust, linen that was soaked in resin, and aromatic spices to help with the smell. And the next step was anointing with oils and resin. So what the priests and embalmers would have done would be to wash away that salt and add some oil and aromatic spices. Basically like marinating a chicken, but it's a dead human body instead. Right guys, it's me, Jamie Oliver, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We've got ourselves a proper ancient pharaoh. Now, instead of the usual chicken, we're giving this legend the royal treatment. Lovely drizzle of olive oil, look at that shine. Absolutely gorgeous. Bit of salt, bit of spice, rub it in, yeah? Proper marination for the afterlife feast. Pharaoh, a la Jamie. Basically what we're gonna do is cover this entire body in resin. Resin is basically like an ancient glue and we need to be very careful to cover it from top to toe. Every single bit of skin needs to be covered in it because it prevents bacteria getting into the skin, the organs, the insides, and causing the body to rot. This is basically kind of like when you cover a wheel of cheese in wax, like, you know, those baby bells, it's doing the exact same thing. So here's my lovely resin. I just ignore the sign that says PVA glue. I'm just gonna lather that on like so. Oh my God, I can feel it on my hands. <laughs> the next step is one of the most famous steps of all, and that is rapping. Oh yo yo, it's time to rap this body real good, just like you did in the Egyptian neighborhood. Whoop, whoop, break it down now. We're pretty cringy, aren't we? Yeah, I'm away. <laughs> Back to sleep. Okay, obviously not that type of wrapping. With the body prepped and polished, it was time to wrap it up tight. The embalmers used hundreds of meters of linen, carefully binding the body from head to toe. Amulets and charms were tucked between the layers to protect the deceased on their journey to the afterlife. By the end, the body looked less like a person and more like an ancient mystical burrito. Connor! What? I'm starving. Are we nearly done? You're, I'm literally so listen, hungry. You're supposed to be dead. But you're not I, supposed to be speaking. I am starving. I'm so hungry. Like, and I'm just thinking about later. Do we have chocolate? I think I had it all last night. I'm really worried about that. Also, would you still love me if I was a worm? And then... Now that we've wrapped up the body in toilet roll, I mean, I mean linen, the body was laid to rest in a wooden or stone coffin called a sarcophagus. The organs that were already in the canopic jar were then placed nearby, ready for the afterlife. Finally, the Egyptians held ritual ceremonies to honor the dead. Priests would perform rites to prepare the soul for its journey. The mummy, along with the grave goods, so all of the treasures and stuff, was placed into the tomb. These items could include anything from clothes to food to treasure and even mummified pets. Ta-da! Because what's eternal life without your favourite cat or dog, right? Isn't that right, Tootin' Bark Mutt? There you go. Hello. It's your good wee boy. All right, young pharaohs, that is a wrap, pun intended. We've come to the end of our video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and bell notification button. Grab our free lesson pack. It's available for the first month after this video drops. Or check out the full How to Be a Pharaoh project. And if you want to try the mummified apple experiment for yourself, you'll find it and loads more on our website. Link in the description. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Uh, 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 uh.